So hi, hello and welcome, Micropunter here and today in this video I'm going to boil an egg without using any heat and how this is done I'm going to show you and of course I did not forget about this. I'm going to put everything under the microscope as well because I would like to see this process also at a high magnification. And uh, what am I going to do today? Well, uh, first of all, if you want to try this experiment also at home, the materials are very simple. All you need is you need a raw egg. Here I'm putting a small drop of uh, the egg white on a microscope slide. It's a little bit viscous, so it's not quite so easy to do that. A cover glass uh, goes on top of it. And now here is the secret to everything. Uh, you add a small drop of very concentrated alcohol and what the alcohol does is the alcohol once it contacts the egg protein the egg protein starts to denature and starts to turn white and this is something that we can see quite rapidly uh, the reaction is very quick and here I'm putting directly a little bit of alcohol on a little bit of egg white and you, the reaction starts immediately and everything turns white and only also solid so um, you really get the consistency of a boiled egg now I did not eat that yet but it should be possible to eat it as well uh, as long as you let the alcohol evaporate first and this is how it looks under the microscope um, first everything is very clear um, and then as soon as you add uh, some of the alcohol the alcohol will go beneath the cover slip uh, by the by a process called capillary action so it's going to be drawn in and it will contact the egg white there and as soon as it contacts it um, it will not become clear anymore but it will start to form those strange looking yeah fiber-like structures here we're right now at the edge uh, of the egg white and uh, the alcohol immediately touches it and as soon as it touches it again we have the denaturation reaction now what i would like to explain in this video a little bit what in, uh, is what denaturation actually is it is an irreversible process and uh, it can be done to proteins normally you use heat uh, to do that uh, but also acids and bases can do that and in my case i'm also using alcohol and this also works and uh, during the denaturation process of a protein the protein will irreversibly lose its function but also it will also change its structure um, you have to understand that uh, proteins are long chains of amino acids that are folded in a very complex three-dimensional manner and uh, when there you add acid or if you add alcohol or heat uh, to this protein then the three-dimensional structure is going to change and uh, the individual proteins, what they might do is, is they might start to cross-link and this causes uh, the egg white to become solid. Um, and this is not, a re not reversible, so once uh, it has denatured, um, that's it. Uh, there is no possibility to uncook an egg. Uh, I know that some scientists are experimenting around with that a little bit, uh, but generally you don't see that in nature so much. Um, and what I've done here is I always looked at the edge um, of the egg white, um, that's what this line, and then I added a little bit of alcohol, and uh, this is the reason why we can see the reaction to start uh, from there. Now, denaturation um, is uh, of course uh, not something that should happen at normal body temperature uh, but when you for example have fever too high fever then this might actually also damage some of the proteins in our cells and that's why uh, fever which is too high um, is of course also dangerous and therefore should be avoided um, and of course uh, we can see that a similar reaction also not only takes place in eggs but also in meat for example uh, meat protein also denatures when you heat it up and uh, it also turns white uh, and uh, yeah it becomes more solid as well and it's also a non-reversible uh, process yeah and i've been repeating this now over and over and over again i had a little bit of fun here and i also observed and maybe you can see it as well that there's some of these air bubbles uh, coming out and those air bubbles uh, i think are because uh, the alcohol um, causes the liquid the water uh, not uh, to be able to dissolve uh, the air as well and i think this is what, the reason why it draws it out so and now here I'm just trying to do this uh, directly. Um, I'm simply adding a little bit of alcohol uh, and this is how it works. And, uh, with a small pipette I tried to mix it a little bit but then yeah I said who cares I'm just going to touch it as well. I'm not going to eat this I'll be very honest with you uh, but uh, yeah it's not going to taste good and also I think you have to be really careful that especially when you are dealing with raw eggs um, don't mess around with salmonella of course the alcohol might kill a lot of them but you can never be sure. I think that's enough for today. 
Happy micro punting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.